I know, right, Claudine? Hard to complain on another beautiful day like today. We've had so much of this nice weather, blue sky, sunshine, highs up around 70, a nice light breeze like where we are here at Lake Norman, Ramsey Creek Park up in northern Mecklenburg County. But we all know the elephant in the room, the drought. We need some rain badly. And here's kind of a perfect example as we kind of pan around here. You can see the water level way pushed back. It used to be up actually kind of where I'm standing. So water levels continue to drop. Of course, it's not only an issue you for you know talking about how we need some water for our lawns but it's a big problem now in the farming communities and of course in southwestern North Carolina where the drought is even worse folks in Cleveland County to the west of Charlotte under a severe drought but we've got an extreme drought in place over the mountains of southwestern North Carolina wildfires continue to burn creating poor air quality out that way and dangerous driving too with that reduced visibility so many communities cities etc just asking for voluntary water restrictions uh, doing things like only making sure you're watering your lawn maybe a few days a week Tuesday through Friday or Tuesday through Thursday for instance uh, no residential car washing no filling up of any pools and letting those uh, fountains go as well. And looking ahead at some of the long term winter outlooks, how it's looking. Are we going to get any relief from this? Because this is the time of the year when we need to start really stockpiling that rain from just that spotty precipitation, the spotty rain that we had from those uh, pop up showers or thunderstorms over the summer and kind of that drier period that we experienced uh, like we have been here lately in early fall. Um, it doesn't look good. It looks like with the La Nina effect that may uh, turn out to give us the drier than normal and warmer than normal type winter once again. So we'll wait and see what happens. We'll hope for the best, but for now it doesn't look like it's going to get much better anytime real soon. We're here at Lake Norman. I'm Tara Lane, Time Warner Cable News.